And then thermobaric weapons are sort of the most hellish uh, end of the spectrum of Russian uh, conventional capabilities because what they do is basically boil the air by um, heating up the the atmosphere at such degrees that they 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 burn everything. It's highly effective in a, in a concentrated use on a specific target, but it has also severe limitations that its effective reach is only five to six kilometers from the launcher position, which puts the launchers well within the range from any Ukrainian indirect fires. They are bringing in the BM-30 Smerge heavy MRLS systems, which have a much longer range, which can fire heavy high explosive rockets and also cluster munitions that have already been used against residential areas in Kharkiv. Cluster bombs which are basically dumb bombs that are um, exploded sort of in the air with fragments or local clusters falling down on a saturated area and these are completely indiscriminate bombing. If Russia brings its full artillery power to bear on Kiev, it will be absolutely devastating and the civilian casualties will rise up to the thousands, tens of thousands. Uh, basically, the same systems Russia is using now are the same ones it used on 94 and Grozny. And that's a good comparison. The city was completely destroyed in the combat. <laughs> 